here's the issue. Like in the Catholic system, you're going to hear a lot, and you have heard a lot about, you know, uh, sexual abuse of children in um, in the Catholic system, and, and like this in 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 the area of uh, uh, media and uh, a film star and all that kind of stuff. Well, what you've got to do, because mainly they're going to report the crime. Law enforcement is trained to deal with the crime and set aside the religious issues. Just deal with the crime. So that's true about the, the entire Catholic system uh, worldwide, whether in Europe or England or Ireland or here in the United States. Uh, but many of the thousands and thousands that are reported sexual abuse by older priests who are now either dead or in their 80s, this Jimmy guy, he's um, dead now, I believe. He's 80, was 80. You've got to realize that right now the finality of the old black flame, the Nazis, that original crew that pushed the agenda on a global scale, many of which were hired by governments in uh, secret projects to develop weapons and to weaponize what it is they've learned, including the concept of super soldiers, well, you got to understand this, that um, in the Catholic system, so much of that involved direct satanic um, ritual. And probably one of the books you can read, I mean, again, read with discernment, but read, is uh, William Kennedy's Lucifer's Lodge as he names names and places and dates within the Catholic system, even charging the Vatican. So whether you hear a pope talk about the smoke of Satan or past um, author Malachi Martin talk about this dark order within the largest religious institution and the wealthiest in the world, a dark order. And if you understand how the dark side operates, how that mysterium Mysterium operates, that's that secret power of lawlessness listed in 2 Thessalonians 2, then um, it, it, that's what we need to know on a biblical basis. But then when we watch, when we look, or for those who feel really led and called, in, in um, kind of like the Josiah Project, in what Josiah had to do to go after it, or what Ezekiel was led to do. That's what I can tell you between Josiah and Ezekiel. That's what we've been led to do since um, about 1980. And when you go digging, and when you seek God to break into the substructure of that supernaturally cloaked darkness, well, you're going to find stuff. You're going to engage warfare as never before. You're going to engage physical threats and all kinds of stuff. But if you want to help some of the victims that are pleading and crying, they're in cages alone, separate, separated, being abused. Well, that's what you're going to have to do.